How you doing, John? Hi, Stefan. How are you? Yeah, good, thanks. John Ham just like I'll call you Slatty. Is that is that allowed? <laughs> it is allowed. We're only by John Ham. <laughs> um, I'm going to begin by asking about working uh, with John. When when you've shared uh, something like you guys shared, obviously, a Mad Men, does it, it must create this kind of close bond that lasts forever, really. So when you guys see each other on a set, is there this kind of familiar, comforting feeling of, oh, yeah, it's that guy again? <laughs> yeah, there is. It's um, yeah, anytime you, call, you know, step on a set the first day, it's always a little nerve wracking. You don't know anybody. You don't know the crew. You don't know the cameraman. Mm. Um. So yeah, to immediately sit down with him um, makes it makes it very easy, and and I think that was early on in the shoot as well. So yeah, just kind of good way to kind of relax into it. Although all my scenes, all two of them, were with him. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I loved I loved your character and performance. But is it a harder skill than it's actually given credit to have an impact of a role despite limited screen time? Yeah, it is. It's harder actually. I mean, it's harder to come in and have a few lines and 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 <clears throat> not put too much pressure on yourself or 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 you know pressure on the on the scenes themselves to to, to try to make an impact, you know, um, than it is to sort of achieve a, a, a you know the, the same thing over a, a a longer series of scenes and you know the whole movie. Mm. I was wondering about how familiar you are with the kind of the Fletch books and, and movies, because when you're making like a readaptation, um, is it important to try and get the other persons or the other, uh, the other directors and filmmakers interpretation out of your mind and just approach this fresh? Or can that be quite hard when the films are so ingrained into kind of cinematic history as, as they are? Yeah, I mean, it, it's been a while and uh, it's been a while since I've seen Fletch and, um, you know, a big Chevy Chase fan, but I haven't watched it in a long time. And I did not read the books. I, I know Ham was a, a fan of the books. Mm. Um, so yeah, and there was no great um, um, burden to try to you know measure up, at least from my point of view. Mm. Yeah, what do you think it is about this character then that makes him this kind of perennial, quite everlasting figure in novels and on screen? Because he was as funny then as he is now. And I feel like you could probably do another Fletch in movie in 30 years and it'd still land. Yeah. Mm. Um, I think it's um, sort of thumbing your nose at authority. I think everybody finds that attractive. And, and, and whether it's a direct, you know, F you to whoever's coming at you or, or the way Fletch does it, which is just to turn everything that anybody says kind of on its ear and, mm -hmm. and in a very charming, very sort of seemingly inoffensive way, um, not give them what they want. Mm -hmm. And I loved uh, God's Pocket when I saw that a few years back. And I know you've directed again. Is that is that all yeah. finished up? Is when might be when might we be able to expect the uh, the next one? Because I love the premise of Maggie Moore's. Um, it's not finished. I have another uh -huh. few sessions. We're doing the color timing and the titles and the last uh, kind of finishing touches. Um, I don't know if you know John Hamm is the star of the movie. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Um, and it turned out really well, and it's a great story. And um, you know, uh, we'll be done within the month, I think. So we'll see. We'll figure out where it's going to end up. And and um, hopefully that's happens soon. So John Hamm, the lead in that one. Is there ever a risk of seeing too much of that guy? <laughs> um, I guess. I suppose overexposure is, a. you know, he's so good in this. I mean, he's, it's so different from Fletch, too. It's so different from most of the things you've ever seen him play. Um He's kind of a little bit rumpled and a little bit uh, vulnerable to the guy's situation, and um, and he's with uh, playing opposite his uh, his and my old pal Tina Fey, mm. um, and they're great together. And yeah, so I'm I'm looking forward to people getting a chance to see it. Yeah, no, I can say hand on heart. There's one thing that you can't have too much of. It's John Ham. So <laughs> looking forward to it. <laughs> Thank you so much, John. Much appreciated. Thank you, man. Nice Thank to you. see you. Thank you too. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching. Hey, you guys! Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey, you guys! 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 H